We have been cooking up some huge updates at Screencastify that will fundamentally change the way that you share videos and the way that your students watch them. Notably, you'll now be able to monitor engagement, add checks for understanding, and your students have a brand new viewing experience. Let me show you around. You'll find most of our new updates on the video management page. Here, you'll be able to view your video and edit it just like before, but now you have tons of additional powerful options. First and foremost, you can add interactive questions to your video by selecting interactive questions on the right hand panel. When you do that, you'll be able to move your cursor to a particular time in the video and add a multiple choice question. The question can be whatever you'd like, and you can have anywhere between two and four answer choices. You'll select the correct answer and then save it. You'll be able to view all of the questions that you've added to the video on the right side in the list view. Here, you'll also be able to edit the question, for example, changing the correct answer, or delete it if you no longer like it to show up in the video that you've created for your students. Once you've added all of the questions that you'd like, you can go over to the share page where you can copy the link to the watch page or share it directly to Google Classroom. But you haven't lost all of your other awesome sharing options. To find those, you can go back to the video management page where you'll still be able to share the link to the watch page via a QR code on Google Classroom, as a Gmail message, or even on Wakelet, along with all of our other sharing apps. Now, when you share the video with your students, instead of being directed to the Google Drive video, they'll be directed to the all new Screencastify watch page. Don't worry, your videos are still saved on Google Drive. But let me show you what the watch page looks like. On the watch page, your students will have a clean interface to see the video, the video title, and answer all of the questions that you've added to their videos. When they get to the exact timestamp that you've added a video, they'll be prompted to stop watching the video, answer the question, and they'll get immediate feedback about whether or not their answer is actually correct. And the cool part is that you'll get immediate feedback too. Back on the video management page, you'll be able to see a list of viewers, which includes who those viewers are by nickname, email, or anonymously, you'll get to decide, when they've most recently viewed the video, and also how many times they viewed the video. In addition to seeing viewer analytics, you'll also be able to see any of the data from the questions that they've answered in real time by selecting interactive questions, and then moving over to responses. The scores that you see will be based off of the entire video and show how your entire class has performed. You'll also be able to see data for each individual student and even data based off of each of the questions that you have added. We're so excited to officially unveil the new Screencastify watch page, viewer analytics and interactive questions. We can't wait to see what you and your students are able to do with the brand new Screencastify.